You'll remember President Trump offered to provide federal help to Chicago to reduce its homicide rate, one of the highest in the nation. Well, the city's Democratic mayor, Rahm Emanuel, said no way he wanted the National Guard roaming the Windy City. Well, now Cook County Commissioner Richard Boykin is proposing a bold idea. He's calling for United Nations peacekeepers to come and patrol the streets of Chicago. Boykin flew to New York today to discuss his request with a U.N. official. Listen to this. I'm hoping to appeal to the U.N. to actually come to Chicago and meet with victims of violence and maybe even possibly help out in terms of peacekeeping efforts. Well, joining me now to discuss that, Fox News political analyst Gianno Caldwell. Caldwell, great to have you with us tonight, Gianno. Thank you for having me, Shannon. Listen, you uh, more than most people know and have a personal connection to just what's going on in Chicago, yeah. and it's really heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah, this is not just a personal topic for me. This is a very emotional one. During Memorial Day weekend, I got a call from a family member who said that my younger sibling was in a car with two of his friends on the south side of Chicago, and two men walked up to that car and riddled that car with 25 bullets. Thankfully, my little brother lived. However, his best friend died in his arms, right in front of him. This instance of violence in Chicago isn't something that just has impacted my family, but many families in Chicago. Over almost 35 people just in, in this year alone have been shot. Uh, over uh, 600 people have been murdered in Chicago. 80% of those folks happen to be African American, and it's really troubling that we have a mayor in Chicago who has demonstrated that black lives don't matter to Rahm Emanuel, black votes matter to Rahm Emanuel. And I want that to be very clear. Black lives don't matter to Rahm Emanuel, black votes matter to Rahm Emanuel. And that's been demonstrated through a number of instances, whether it be him withholding a Laquan McDonald tape uh, unjustly just so he can win re-election, or him saying, hey, instead of me focusing on the violence that it has impacted 80% of the African Americans in the city, let me focus on the city's sanctuary, city, uh, sanctuary status. Mm -hmm. So this has become very troubling for many of the Chicagoans, and I applaud uh, Commissioner Boykin for having an out-of-the-box strategy, at least seeking information mm -hmm. that can potentially help save and keep safe many of the residents in Chicago who deal with violence, gun violence, or whatever else on a very daily basis. Yeah, and you know, of course, he and the president have been, the mayor and the president have been very combative. Uh, they have many differences on a number of topics. Um, he didn't want the National Guard on the streets there, thought that it wouldn't be yeah. helpful. Um, they have accepted some additional ATF agents that are there and trying to work on some yeah. of the gun uh, issues. Um, but the idea of UN folks with blue helmets roaming the streets of Chicago, for a lot of Americans, that is not something they're prepared to take on. Do you think that there is the good could outweigh the bad with that. I mean, the, the thought of an international force coming in to patrol a U.S. city is not very popular. No, it, it is unpopular, but I also must mention, in 2010, there was a state representative by the name of LaShawn Ford um, that came out and had a press conference, and he was in one of the areas uh, um, in terms of being a state rep for an area that experienced a lot of violence. He requested the National Guard in 2010. So these are Democrats who have said, we want the National Guard here. Uh, certainly when it comes to uh, peacekeepers coming in, perhaps they wouldn't come in and patrol the streets, but maybe they can teach some of the strategies in which they've learned in war-torn countries. As you know, Chicago has become certainly a war-torn torn city um, for many of the residents there. So yeah, I think that the mayor, he doesn't want to receive the help, uh, but certainly there's something that needs to be done. And after my brother situation, I mm -hmm. went to the White House the very next week and spoke with senior leaders there, and two weeks later they sent the resources uh, of, of federal resources, but certainly that's not enough. A lot more mu needs to be done, and President Trump made that commitment to the people of Chicago that if Chicago doesn't fix the carnage, he'll send the feds, and I am looking for him to keep that commitment and send in real federal resources, whether it be law enforcement, social services, et cetera. We need to see that, and I'm looking for President Trump, if you're listening, do what you said you would do mm -hmm. for the people of Chicago. Uh, Certainly. Meanwhile, this is something, not this particular issue, but this idea of his dust up with the president that Rahm Emanuel is joking about this on The Late Show with CBS uh, with Stephen Colbert. Here's what he said. Donald Trump is driving forward looking through the rearview mirror, and I'm not going that way because I want my city going that way, and I don't want it to be a Trump-free zone. 
He said he, he wants to change the motto that essentially Chicago will be the city that Trump never sleeps in. Uh, he wants nothing to do with the president. Do you think they can find common ground on this particular issue? That is, it, it, these are Americans that we're talking about, American mm -hmm. lives. You know, it's interesting that he says he wants it to be the city that Trump never sleeps in, because unfortunately, many of the residents in Chicago, they can't sleep because they don't know if there's going to be a bullet coming through their window. So maybe they're sleeping on the floor right now and not sleeping at all. So while Rahm Emanuel is making jokes, while black bodies are being littered through the streets of Chicago, he needs to wake up and leave that town home or wherever he is uh, on, the, on the Gold Coast and look at some of the folks on the south and west side of Chicago that are battling this violence on a day-to-day -day basis. Students who who are afraid, afraid to go to school because of his inaction. We need change and we need change now. And Rahm Emanuel has no business being reelected because he is not worthy of serving the city, especially not all the citizens of Chicago. Well, you're calling on them there in Chicago and in the White House as well to step in and do what they can. Absolutely. Gianna, we hope for everyone's sake who is involved there that there is great change coming to that city uh, when it comes Thank to you, the Sharon. lives that are at stake. Thank you so much. Great to have you with us tonight.